previously on Special School. Would you like to go into another room? Oh, no, no, no. There's no need to be afraid of the cameras. Well, I'm not afraid. I just thought that you'd want to handle this in private. Uh, no. On the contrary, Miss Johnson, you'll soon find out that I only handle my privates in public. On second thought, I think I'm really glad that the camera crew's here. Should we get started? State Board Zero, All Special School One. You guys are getting all of this, right? Oh, you bet. I will sign that release. And I'm going to need a copy of all of this, please. While we applaud your eagerness and your dedication to start your own school, Principal Needler, we just need to make sure that it meets with state standards. Please, <clears throat> call me Perry, okay? And, and what are these state standards, Mary Beth? Please call me Miss Johnson. The state standards are the criteria by which we gauge children's performances. Okay, so who sets these benchmarks, if you will? Educational experts on the state level. Okay, so adults, grown-ups, big people, not the children. Well, the children could have a voice, of course, no, no, but they can't. No, not just a voice. They are the ones driving their education, okay? They are seated in their educational vehicle, driving down the educational highway to their educational destinies. You don't allow a 10-year-old to get a driver's license. Why not? Because they crash the car and because it's illegal. <laughs> Look, Principal Needler, I don't think you're hearing me. Perry. Okay, and I, I, I'm hearing you, okay? I'm hearing you. Uh, you are making vibrations with your vocal cords that are coming out your mouth and into my ears and through the hammer, anvil, stirrups, and reverberating, and they do something and then my brain. Well, then you're not listening. If you open a school and you charge tuition for that school, mm -hmm. you need to ensure that the children receive a proper education so mm -hmm. they can move on to high school. Otherwise, it's daycare. Okay, so what that <laughs> says to me is that at your state schools, you don't care about the kids. Oh, you are completely twisting my words. I, I am not twisting your words. How can I twist your words? Okay, that doesn't even make sense. I mean, what am I, like a virtual balloon artist who twists your words as they come out of your mouth? Okay, I'm not that kind of artist. I, I was a sandwich artist, but um, I am not a balloon artist. Actually, I am a certified balloon artist. It's almost mandatory in Canada. Look, why don't we discuss the students? What's your current enrollment? Seven. Okay. Ah, six. One kind of disappeared. It's, it's a funny story. <laughs> okay, six. Did you pull their files as I requested? No, I did not. Okay, then. Why don't we go get them now? Where are they kept? Upstairs. Okay, let's go. And by upstairs, you mean in your head, don't you? You are starting to understand how we do things at the all special school. Okay. Let's start. Who do you have? Gil Houston, 12 years old. Gil was destined to be a star athlete. His father wanted that for him, too. Uh, Gil has always had a great arm on him. I mean, even as a baby. Uh, I, I remember one time when uh, he was just a little guy and he was uh, breastfeeding and he, and he reached right up there to grab my wife's... <laughs> well, you know, and uh, he, he wouldn't let go. Now, uh, most dads would have gotten real ticked off about that. <laughs> I know my wife was. <laughs> But I noticed uh, right then and there, you know, that, that, that boy had a great arm on him, you know. <clears throat> Somebody get him a ball. <laughs> but as Gil grew up, his dad noticed that Gil wasn't that into balls. Well, not the ones that his dad would have liked. He started uh, having this, uh, you know, fixation with his, uh, with his mother's purse. You know, always getting into it. And, uh... <sighs> And my wife, uh, 
she said, you know, honey, I'm, uh, things are missing from from my purse, you know, little little things, and, and, you know, uh, her lipstick and her uh, her uh, her eyeshadow and that, you know, rouge. I'm sorry. This is a uh, this is a this is a little uh, little uh, uh, hard to talk about. Gil's dad soon learned the shocking truth that his son was. Next time on Special School. It's so great to be here. It's so swell to be. So many things to see here. But you have chosen me. Me, me. You have chosen me.